Welcome dear students to our digital chemistry platform. Today we are here with yet another interesting basic concept in chemistry. That too organic chemistry. Yes, we are going to learn isomerism in organic chemistry with the help of colorful and interesting 2D animations. We hope you will enjoy the session. Organic compounds with the same molecular formula but different structure and properties exhibit isomerism. They are classified into two types constitutional and stereoisomerism. Constitutional isomerism, otherwise known as structural isomerism, talks about compounds having same molecular formula but they differ in their bonding sequence. They are further classified into six types. The first one is chain isomerism. Let us consider the following examples. The first one with the five carbon atoms in the main skeleton and single bonded pentane. The second one, four carbon atoms in the skeleton and one methyl group at the second position. The third example, propane chain with the two methyl groups at second position. All the three of them share the common molecular formula that is C5H12 but their carbon skeleton changes. The first one pentane, second one butane, third one is propane. So chain isomerism. The next one is position isomerism. You would have guessed, yes you are right. Let us take the following examples. Butane chain with a chloro substituent at the first position. So one chlorobutane. The second example same butane with the chloro substituent at the second position. So two chlorobutane. It is very obvious they share the same molecular formula. Even the carbon skeleton that is butane is same. Only difference is the position of substituent chloro at first position and in the second position. So it is position isomerism. Same molecular formula but their position of the functional group or an unsaturated group may change. The third one is functional isomerism. It is another interesting isomerism where the molecular formula might be same. Only difference is the nature of the functional group. First example, it is an aldehyde with a propane skeleton. The second example is a ketone with the same propane skeleton and the molecular formula 2 same. C3H6O. They differ only in the functional group. This isomerism may be new to you, that is metamerism. Let us consider the following examples. The ketone is the functional group at the third position of the pentane. So pentane 3 on. We remove E and add O and E at the third position. The next example, the same ketone group at the second position. So it is pentane 2 on. And in the third example, it's a branched chain on either side of the ketone group the nature of alkyl group changes here it is butane 2 on and methyl group at the third position they share the same molecular formula and functional group but the groups attached on either side of the functional group changes Three carbons, one carbon, two carbon and two carbon. Three carbons, one carbon metamerism. The next one is tautomerism, might be new to you. In tautomerism we have two types. The first one is a diet system. Let us consider hydrogen cyanide example. 
where the hydrogen atom shifts towards the nitrogen and gets connected and the lone pair shifts to form a coordinate bond and we get a new molecule which is hydrogen isocyanide when the first one hydrogen is attached to the carbon in isocyanide it is attached with nitrogen atom that is it shifts between two of the groups so diode system the next one is triad system where you can see the oscillation or the migration of hydrogen atom between first position and the third position and here from the first carbon migrates to the third position that is oxygen atom earlier it was a keto form now double bond and an alcohol that is enol form so it is otherwise known as ethenol since there is a migration from first to third position it is triad the next one is quite interesting that is a ring chain isomerism let us take this example propene it's a open chain compound gets converted into a closed chain cyclopropane and from open chain to cyclic compound the isomerism exists and let us go in detail this double bond breaks and the hydrogen atom gets connected to the second carbon and first and third gets connected we get a cyclic system that is propene gets converted into a cyclopropane this is ring chain isomerism the next broad classification is stereoisomerism in organic compounds compounds they have same bond connectivity but different arrangement of atoms or groups in space this class were into two types one is geometrical isomerism the other one is optical isomerism let us learn first about geometrical isomerism again here the following example ethene cannot go for geometrical isomerism the reason is the doubly bonded carbon atoms are attached with a similar group that is the same group hydrogen atoms are attached let us remove the hydrogen atoms and add methyl groups so that it gets converted into 2 butene 2 butene can show geometrical isomerism where the similar groups are attached on the same side it is known as cis isomer and we can see it's looking like boat so it's boat form and the double bond breaks and the molecule rotates with a single bond and forms another structure which is trans in nature where the similar groups are on the opposite side trans isomer looks like a chair form and it is very stable too so 2 butene can be in two forms one is cis 2 butene where methyl groups are on the same side and trans 2 butene where the methyl groups are on the opposite side oxymes to show geometrical isomerism oxymes are the molecules they are doubly bonded nitrogen atom with the oh groups attached where hydrogen and oh group will show the cis trans isomerism that is hydrogen and oh groups are on the same side forms boat form otherwise known as syn isomer or syn acetal doxime is the name if that interchanges by breaking the double bond the oh group and hydrogen are on the opposite side so they form anti isomer that is anti acetal doxime is the name and it forms chair form and hydrogen oh are on the opposite side so we have geometrical isomerism in oxymes too next type is optical isomerism very interesting isomerism organic compound with the four valency of the carbon atom filled with the four different groups will definitely show this type of isomerism that is called as chirality or asymmetry they have the capacity to rotate the plane polarized like 
either to the clockwise or anticlockwise direction. Optical isomers are otherwise known as enantiomers where the carbon atom is attached to the four different groups can be in dextro form which can rotate the light in clockwise direction other one is lavo form which can rotate the light in anticlockwise direction where these can behave like object and mirror image type of molecules one may not impose over the other one that is they are non super impossible let us consider dextro isomer that is d form which can rotate the light into clockwise direction with the help of an animation we will understand the concept and the molecule taken is d glucose and the nicol prism converts unpolarized light into a plain polarized light when that is allowed to pass through the d glucose sample that has the capacity to rotate the light into clockwise direction this is a peculiar behavior of certain organic compound they are called as optical isomers d form which rotates the light into clockwise direction the other isomer is the labo isomer l form which can rotate the light into anticlockwise direction let us take l glucose as an example an unpolarized light after passing through the nicol prism get converted into a plain polarized one that is furthermore allowed to pass through the l isomer of glucose and that rotates the light into anticlockwise direction that shows the isomers are two in nature first one is dextro rotating the second one is levo rotating isomer and we hope you would have enjoyed this session and we have lot of interesting concepts available in our channel guna jo creates and the digital chemistry playlist will give you wonderful guidance with the help of 2d and 3d animations to learn chemistry so make use of these opportunities and try to strengthen your basics in chemistry at the same time if it is useful for you and you can also like share and comment and pass it to the needy friends of yours thank you and all the best